G'day, this is Oz ADV Rider. Today I'm going to be talking about the gear I carry with me on my bike. This was suggested to me by Rick Reasoner, so thanks Rick for the suggestion. If anybody else has any suggestions of anything they'd like me to talk about, just let me know in the comments below. So the first thing is um, I carry on my back my hydration pack. This is fairly new to me, I've only just started using it. Um, so basically, yeah, it's a backpack, has a bag of water in it with a long straw. So there's also a bit of room in there if you want to carry anything. And a couple of pockets on the front. So yeah, this has been a great new addition. Righto, so we'll start off with the top box. First aid kit, which to be honest, I forget most of the time and it lives in my cupboard at home. <laughs> I have my GoPro gear and my, um, my drone. And then this gets filled up with jumpers and layers of clothing as the day warms up. I usually carry spare gloves, just basic stuff like that. So next is my tool tube. Um, so this hockey strap is there for partly to make sure my lid doesn't come off. And the other part it comes in handy if I do need to tie something down. This originally was a tool tube, it's now a, stu a stool tube. So we carry some rags, big cable ties, my stool, more cable ties, and and my portable jack. Now this is a reusable cable tie. And we do we press that and pull it back, I think. And here I carry my folding jack. Now I'll just quickly show you how this works. If you haven't seen it before on my videos, I have a video on how to make these. If you're interested, I'll put a link up in the top corner. First up, we'll use this as a handbrake. This is my reusable cable tie. This is great to carry on the road for any uh, tyre repairs or be great on a trip for chain maintenance. Rightio. That I sh really should have used last week when I was um, replacing my shock and I would not have tipped my bike over like I did. Alright, yeah, that can all go back in. These big cable ties come in handy, nice and strong. That's the tool tube. Now, if you're wondering how we attach that, it's very hard to show. I made this bracket up here. There's a bit of flat bar to round bar to another bit of flat bar. And these are just, um, it's just PVC piping with PVC pipe clamps. This was an existing hole on the bike, which I just bolted into. Anyway, we're talking about gear I carry on the bike, aren't we? Let's have a look, see what's under the seat. There's going to be lots of goodies under there. Righto, so first thing we've got, pump. This is a, is it slime, tire top off. I got that for about 15 bucks on eBay and I can't find them anymore. This is brilliant. Let's have a look here. 
Where are we? Got an old style tyre pressure gauge. That just plugs into the cigarette lighter. It's got a torch on it somewhere, just there. Yeah, this thing's cool. Works quite well. What else we got? This is supposed to chop trees down. I bought this for about five bucks, I think. I've never used it. Well, uh, let's go try this thing, see if it actually works. Yeah, what? It's cutting pretty well. Wow, that actually cut way better than I thought. <laughs> that was surprising. Alright, oh, piece of wire. You never know when you're going to need a piece of wire. That's microphone cord. Oh, right, oh, that is my tyre repair kit. This is a tubeless tyre repair kit. Wrapped in rag. I've never actually used this thing. What's in there? Never know what that is. Oh, that's um, JB Weld. So that's what you use to ream the hole out. That's what you use to put the plug in. That's probably what you cut the excess off with, I guess. In this one, this is the rest of me um, tire repair kit by the looks of it. There's the actual plugs. More plugs, I don't know how many flats I'm planning on getting. Spare fuses. That's a spare toe piece for my either my gear lever or my brake lever. Mangled up electrical tape, more fuses, a screw. Now, I'll tell you why I carry those. Um, this is a little modification I made up. I'll um, put a link to the video on that. I'll tell you what that's all about. But if you've ever bent a gear lever or a brake lever on one of these, you know they don't like being bent back again, they just snap off. So I've designed these so they, they're a weak point, they will purposely bend and break and I can just fit another one. That is for leaking fork seals. Leaking fork seals on, the, on a trip, you slip that between the fork leg and the seal, run it around and nine times out of ten it will reseed itself. It'll clean any muck out and stop leaking hopefully. Well, this is an old kit I bought ages ago. Just more tire repair stuff that's for tubes, valve remover, um, gas, or oxygen bottle. As with that, I bought this one, I had my DR350. I'll just carry it with me, it might come in handy. Shouldn't need it with the pump I've got, but you never know. Righto, what else we got? That's the standard Suzuki tool kit. That's spare brake and clutch lever. I think that's it. So brake and clutch lever. And this is the Suzuki tool kit. I think I might have some extras in there. I do. I've got this. These are very good, these little shifters. Wide mouth shifter. Open up really wide. The rest of it just looks like standard Suzuki stuff.
So one other thing I should get is a PLB or an inReach, something in case of an emergency. So I'm going to look into getting one of those soon. Anyway, I hope you found this useful. Um, yeah, like I said before, anything you'd like to know, just comment below. So unfortunately we're still in lockdown here in Melbourne, Australia, so I can't get out and ride. So we are allowed out to exercise, so we're off for a walk. Come on, let's go.